Welcome back to this new tutorial. In this video, you will learn about the new post-processing effects available for paid subscribers in the upcoming Replicant expansion. You will have to go to your scene list, filter by post-process and selecting that. You will find a category called effects. Uh, let's remove those. Uh, this is a uh, current glitch. Uh, they are removed once we add a new one. Those will disappear. So let's take a look at the effects that we have. For the most part, we have um, lens effects that will mimic different conditions for your lens or your environment. We have imperfections of the camera, for example, lens distortion, chromatic abrasions, film grain, etc. And then we have a bunch of effects that will mimic tune shaders or hand drawing effects more like comic style or like cartoons. And within these effects, you will find different parameters to adjust the look to your likeness. Okay, let's add our first effect. Let's uh, move the character under this light here. And now let's go to the push process, add effect, a stylize, and you can hover where each effect to see what they are doing. I'm gonna use a uh, cell shader and you can access to the parameters here so you can change for example the color of the outline, the different uh, tonalities, the opacity of the effect so you can blend it with other effects or without any other effect. Feel free to play with these parameters until you get the effect that you desire. Um, keep in mind that the lighting on your environment can have different effects depending on what post-process effect you are using. So for example, if I come here to this hand drawing effect and I disable the sky, everything goes uh, darker. And if I come here, let's reduce the cloud amount and let's move the sound around. You can see how you can affect your scene with a lit area and a shadow area. I can reduce also the skylight effect to increase the contrast between both. So I can create a very stylized effect. But there are other post-process effects that are not affected at all by the lighting of your environment. So if I come to the post-process, let's remove this one. Add effect, stylize. And we have this one. As you can see, there is no difference between where the light is hitting or where uh, the shadows are. But if I remove the sky, the sky will go black. So basically you will only see like the sky colors taking place. And then you have other effects that will get more affected by it. So if I come here, remove this one and let's add, for example, uh, this one. As you can see, uh, it's adding a black outline, but it's pretty much affected by any lights we add into the environment. If I grab this, as you can see, I can control this. So you can create different effects with that. Also keep in mind that the look of the post process can be a bit different once you render the, that's something that you will have to experiment yourself. Uh, in the future, we will add more effects and we will improve the ones that we currently have so some of them cannot be controlled at the moment but that's something we will fix in the near future and that's basically all with our effects for the post process um, feel free to play with them to find the style that works for you and see you in the next video